here we are on YouTube, Nathan. We are doing. See, I can't. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing any more whelps. You're doing them all. Yes, I'm no, just. I'm laughing because it's great to hear you no, do the whelps. No, I don't get. I, I always. You're always like Nathan. You do the whelps. I'm not good at them. So when I hear you do, I'm like, oh, that came out of nowhere. That's what the uh, person said to the flasher. That came out of nowhere. Okay, so Nathan, what do you? <laughs> What's wrong with me? I don't okay. What what's going on? <laughs> Nathan, we're doing Taylor it? Swift. We're doing Taylor Swift speak oh, now's okay, Taylor's okay. version. This is we're continuing okay. our journey. So those who are watching this for the first time, we're gonna stop watching us after this. Is mm. uh, sorry for reading the comments. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> They're saying don't edit, just be real. Okay, you know what? Mm. Uh, Melissa, I'm gonna do it. And I can't wait to hear the comments. Oh, I'm gonna get crapped. Fine. I'm gonna get crapped on. It's regarding a different video. <laughs> People are like, What are you talking about, Ryan? Don't worry about it. Anyways. What I was trying to say was, is that we have started Speak Now's Taylor Swift Speak Now. We did the first uh, uh, half of the albums on our Patreon, uh, sorry, on our YouTube, the whole mm -hmm. first half of Speak Now. We now have started the Speak Now Taylor's version because it got released during our journey. So we're just doing mm -hmm. the rest of the songs via the uh, Taylor's version, and we're doing one song at a time. And today, Nathan, we are doing Haunted. So we just mm -hmm. uh, had Halloween a week ago, so it's apropos at the time it's recording. So the song is called Haunted. I know nothing about it. We've never heard the quote-unquote original. Taylor Swift's Haunted. Are you ready? It's a lyric video, too. Yeah, so, okay. absolutely. Let's do it. Oh, hot and sip.
interesting little tidbit here that Melissa pointed out. And I agree. There's parts of that, her voice that sound a little bit like Avril Le- mm-hmm. Levine. And I, I was listening and I was trying to figure out who that sounded like. And as soon as you posted that, I was like, oh, that's who it is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I caught that. But it's interesting because this is Taylor singing now. Yeah. It, yeah. It, so it's, which it's is older. It's all, older. Taylor. Even more interesting. Does the original sound a little bit like Avril Lavigne? That's my other question. I'm curious. I would assume. That. I would assume so. I asked the question, but I found the answer. Nobody wants to answer my questions. That's fine. I don't care. It's yeah. So I always forget when Speak Now came out. I knew it was one of her earlier albums, but it was her third album. Mm. So this is the, of course, the Taylorized re-recording. But but the sound was very. I was say very 2010, but it has that. It's when Taylor was still sneaking a little bit out of the country, but there's still that country sound. You got the violins. But mm-hmm. of course, I love the uh, keyboard synthesizer or whatever sounds. It's haunting. Yeah, it's not mm-hmm. a haunting sound, but it, it it's like it has that haunt. I, I don't know how to say this, but the synthesizers make sense with the song called Haunted. I don't know why. We don't hear yeah. that very often in her songs, do we? The synthesizer keyboard. E, e, e. No. Um, yeah. And I, I don't know much about uh, haunted music, but I do have a friend that can explain it a little bit better. Oh, bring them on. Hey, yeah. let's welcome Nathan's friend. Come on to the show. Oh, it's me, Xanthar. Oh, Xanthar, it's nice to see you Remember again. me from a previous video? Yes. Uh, what, <laughs> did you, what did you think of Taylor's Haunted? Was it haunted enough for you? It was not haunted enough. There was little strings, but it didn't feel, it didn't feel evil. It felt happy haunting. Happy haunting? Well, haunting doesn't have to be evil, Xanthar. I don't know. I didn't feel like killing anyone or destroying things or blood everywhere. I just felt a little bit like, whoo, that's a tiny bit spooky. Panther, I think you're missing the point of the song. I don't think Taylor wants you to kill anybody when you listen to Haunted. I don't think that's the intention. My mistake. I guess I, I've misread this. You did, because Xanthar, the song explores the pain of a broken or strained relationship, the desire to hold on, and the struggle to make sense of what went wrong. It reflects the complex emotions and uncertainties that can arise when a meaningful connection appears to be falling apart. That's amazing. You are quite prepared. I'm very impressed. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Xanthar. That's... Please please don't kill any more people, especially when you listen to Taylor Swift. That's not good. Oh, I was... Yes, that... Thank you. I'll, I'll take that into consideration. This has been fun. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> we done?